So we are continuing the series that we started about uh, micro frontends using Webpack 5 module federation and we are using create uh, module federation app create dash mf dash app uh, which will make explaining deep things and advanced uh, advanced uh, terms and technologies faster and easier. So right now we will see how can we create um, module federation app mpx create dash mf dash app if this is the first time it will ask you to install uh, the package click yes and then after it gets installed it will ask which will be the normal after that uh, the first time it will ask you about the name of the app so here we'll use host because we're building host the default port is 8080 I accepted it I accept the react and JavaScript and CSS those are the defaults you can change them if you want now after it installed all what you need to do is to change to the directory that is created host which is the name that you provided you do yarn install or npm install which will install all the dependencies that are created in package.json and those are added for you automatically. It will install all the loaders, webpack, webpack CLI, everything like that. Let's do yarn start to see uh, how it looks like. So if you go, if you did yarn start, of course it will start the site on uh, port 8080, localhost 8080, and this is the default. This is the boiler plate that um, the popular plate that we are trying to fix. It took us some videos to go through this, but it will create it for us. Let's see what the code that they have. Code space dot to open Visual Studio Code. And let's look into the code. I'll bring it here, open the window a little bit, adjust it here. Okay. So let's look inside source. Or first, let's look outside uh, webpack.config.js. Uh, as you can see, this is all the code and the configuration added and if you want to understand what's inside it you can go to my previous articles in LinkedIn or Medium or my previous videos I explain how to add those uh, loaders and the most important one that we will work on is the module federation plugin so they added the name and then they have those to be added in the future shared components shared modules is very important to be added and they added also source files like the index and uh, index HTML we usually put this in public but that's fine you can move it if you want this is the ID which is app this is similar to the uh, index before and the bootstrap idea app the JS is similar to the bootstrap the JS that we've done before and here this is the code that it has and you start adding into it as we will see in all future videos we'll add um, we will get remotes from other components, we'll create micro frontends and start importing them here. But actually this is a great improvement that will make us address advanced topics. Please if you like this video please like, subscribe and enable the notifications which is very important so you can receive the latest video I will be focusing more on module federation and micro frontends design and architecture since we have now create a module federation app it makes things a lot easier and I don't have to repeat everything again um, so follow me on medium and LinkedIn as well